because that's the reason I'm here, is that. Um, <coughs> we have uh, 54 acres along the Dyeberry, which for the past four or five years I've been contemplating starting an organic farm. Um, I'm in the DRPC zone. Um, I've got a lot of money on hold. I shouldn't say a lot anymore. I've got some money left that I want to put into this farm, but I'm, I'm very hesitant to do that. Uh, I'm a small business owner. I own another company in Wayne County and another one in Philadelphia. Um, and I just wanted to bring your attention. I don't think people are really taking into account the long-term effects of what opening up the DRBC zone would do to the quality of life, not only for the people that live here, but for the millions of people downstream who drink the water and come up on the weekends in the summer to recreate in this area. There's hundreds of summer camps up here where people from the main line of Philadelphia spend big money, and I'm talking hundreds of millions of dollars every year. That revenue will be wiped out if there's reports in the Philadelphia Inquirer or online about pollutants like benzene and methane, benzene and toluene drinking water. I have a science background in undergrad. I cannot for the life of me. I try, I try as a business person to honestly figure out how could this process, you know, I, give it, I try to give it the benefit of the doubt. And every time I come up with things in my mind, just this does not make any sense. You know, you can't drill a mile down and move all these fluids and gases through water and explode rock, 350 million years old, with all these fissures through rock and not expect these stuff to migrate. We don't even know what we're exploding down there. We don't know where it's going to go. We, we don't know what's going to happen to it. <laughs> it's like herding cats. Um, I grew up on the Delaware River uh, down in New Hope. I live in Philadelphia most of the time. I come up here on the weekends. I am so connected to the Delaware River. I fish for shad in New Hope. I fish for catfish. I fish for trout in the upper Delaware. I beg you and beg you to put a moratorium on this until all the studies are done. Not only environmental impact studies, but cost-benefit studies to this whole region. This could decimate this region for generations to come. There's nothing else. Do it for these guys. have something to say. Guys, can you kind of stand up here? Because I'm sure I got at least a minute left. I had a lot more to say, but you have about 20 seconds. Great. All right, guys, you got to move quick. Up on the chair. <laughs> now we have we have something to say to everyone today, don't we? Can you tell? What do you get? What do you want to say, guys? Don't what? Back to the future. Don't crack it on future. Yeah. Thank you, better family.